Welcome to the TechBits channel. Today's video will be focused on PG vector and vector similarity search. The goal of this video is to equip you with the knowledge and skills to leverage PG vector effectively in your projects, enhancing search capabilities and improving recommendation functionality. Whether you're a database administrator, developer, or data scientist, you'll gain valuable insights into this cutting edge technology and its practical applications in modern tech landscape. PG vector. PG Vector is an extension for PostgreSQL that's designed for efficient similarity searches on high dimensional data. Today, we'll explore how it can be used to enhance various applications. In modern tech, vector similarity search is crucial for tasks like recommendation systems, image recognition, and natural language processing. It helps find similarities between items based on their vector representations. Throughout this session, we'll cover essential topics setting up the environment, Python, PL, SQL, PG SQL, implementations, and core concepts of vector similarity search. By the end, you'll have a solid grasp of applying PG vector in real-world scenarios to improve search and recommendation functionality. Before diving into PG vector, it's essential to set up the right environment. Postgres, Postgres SQL 11 or later is needed for its database capability. You must install the PG vector extension within Postgres SQL to leverage its vector-related functions. Python 7 or newer is required for implementing the Python side of PG Vector. Essential Python libraries include PsychoPG, binary for database connectivity, sentence transformers for generating embeddings, and NumPy for numerical operations. Setting up PG Vector involves downloading its source, compiling it, and integrating with PostSQL. This process can be varying by operating system. We have a link provided here, which you can reference on GitHub to follow the installation instruction. For Python, creating a virtual environment ensures a clean setup, activating it using commands specific to your environment and installing necessary packages via peep will go a long way. Proper setup ensures smooth execution of examples and applications, minimizing compatibility issues. Let's start with Python's implementation of vector similarity search using PG vector. The DB params dictionary holds PostgreSQL connection details, ensuring to replace placeholders with actual credentials securely. The create table function sets up an items table if absent. Defining a vector column, insert items, cycle PG, execute values, method inserts data efficiently, critical for handling large data sets. Real world applications necessitate robust error handling and resource management, ensuring stable operation over time. Continuing with Python, we use sentence transformers, the all mini LM L6 model for generating 384 dimensional embeddings from text. Model.encode generates embedding, capturing semantic meanings in high dimensional space. Data insertion pairs text with embeddings, crucial for applications where text context matters. For similarity searches, the query embedding is created for sample queries. Similarity search uses PG vectors operator for cosine similarity, returning the most similar text with their scores. Python's implementation provides simplicity and efficiency, ideal for real-time applications demanding rapid responses. Understanding vector embeddings. Vector embeddings are numeric representations of data in high dimensional space, capturing semantic meanings. They encode complex relationships between data points, crucial for understanding similarities that raw data might. Applications span text, images, audio, and user behavior, each benefiting from embeddings tailored to specific data types. Choosing the right embedding model significantly impacts quality and application performance. Similarity search concepts. Similarity search finds items resembling a query item in vector space. Key metrics include Euclidean distance, measuring distance directly, and cosine similarity, focusing on vector direction. Cosine similarity suits text of varying lengths, emphasizing directional similarities over magnitudes. Selecting metrics impacts search accuracy, tailored to each application's unique requirement. Real world applications. Real world uses of vector similarity encompass semantic search, expanding beyond words and keywords to conceptually similar items. Recommendation systems use similarity to suggest items based on user preferences, enhancing 
user experience. Image similarity leverages vector embeddings for reverse image search, product similarity, and more. Anomaly detection identifies unusual data points, critical for fraud detection and system monitoring. Applications span diverse domains, inviting attendees to explore vectors' potential in their practice. Well, time for us to put these concepts into real-world use case scenarios and dissect all the code. I'm going to start by logging into psql and notice I'm connected. First thing I want to look is my extension, which ones I have installed. As you can notice, AI, PLPG SQL, Python, Timescale DB, and most importantly for us, so that confirms what we have. Log in here, clear the screen, I'm going to look at my Python code, and I have vector search. I'm going to open it on the text editor. And here we are. We start with our packages. We're importing them. As mentioned in the slides, we're going to be using the db underscore params. Notice all the connections, database, user, Postgres, localhost. Continuing with the functions. Function to drop a table if it exists, create the table if it does not exist as well, insert the items, perform the similarity search, and execute it. And this is our main area of execution in Python. First, we connect towards the database, cursor, drop the table, create the table. And we use the sentence transformer model that we had spoken before in the slides. And then we have our sample data, which will be inserted, creating the embeddings first, then preparing them for insertion, followed by the insertion process. Then we have a variety of similarity searches here. I want to showcase what the differences are between each one so that you can see that there are some inaccuracies at, so you can be aware of those. We continue with the code and we will get results if we find them or none if we do not. Finally, we close everything and continue and this is where everything gets executed. So back to our command line. Let's execute this code. Put it on three, search, see the results quickly and insert it for items the most similar to what we were searching, which was the meaning of life to be or not to be. That is the question. Let's go verify. So my query text was, what is the meaning of life? And it found be or not to be that close enough. Let's try the other example. What did the fox jump? So we should quickly get the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog as a response. Execute it again. And that is accurate. Let's do another test. This one out and try how difficult is life. We should get one of these responses. Find out which one it is because it doesn't really match. The response is in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. That's one of the items I wanted to showcase. Responses don't always match to your expectation. Last item we're going to try, how many miles, which should respond with a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And that was accurate. This leads us to the end of our video, but hopefully if you stood all the way to the end, this showcases and gives you an idea of a similarity search with data within Postgres. This is a mini series we have on our channel about AI and ML. Stay tuned, more to come. Project. So in recap, for our conclusion, we looked at setting up PT Vector, implementing Python, PL, PG SQL solutions, understanding embeddings, and similarity concepts. Also, we looked at PG Vector and how it empowers high dimensional data handling, enhancing search and recommendation systems. We encourage you to further explore, experiment with models, metrics, scale for performance, and integrate into existing applications. Embrace also Victor Similarity's potential, enriching search quality and user interaction. Thank you for watching the video. See you on the next ones.